we are moving on to the next subclass coming under the uh, class contact test that is subclass follows style we have already dealt with the first subclass that is the subclass selashi we have seen about the characteristic features and we have uh, seen about the uh, examples also okay now we can pass on to the next subclass that is a subclass holocephaly so these are group of ancient cartilaginous fishes which have split from the elasmobranchi during the devonian period they might have appeared in the jurassic or triassic period many living forms are there marine uh, deep water forms are uh, the fishes so they are represented by a single living family called as the chimeridae all the others have gone extinct and only this single family chimeridae is still living today uh, so three genera is coming under this uh, family uh, chimera which is called as the king of the rings uh, calorinthus uh, this elephant shark giant sized one then hariota spook fish or ghost fish so uh, uh, under this subclass we have to see uh, we have to study one example that is a chimera okay so you can see uh, the morphological features of this fish uh, so look into the picture uh, now we are going on to the uh, features of the chimera so this is commonly called as a silver shark rabbit fish uh, or king of the rings so it is found in the coastal waters of europe japan africa so many countries including the indian ocean so length is about 60 centimeters to 1.5 meters the body is smooth and scaleless mouth is armored with fleshy lips and tooth plates you can see here fleshy lips and tooth plates gills are covered by a non-skeletal operculum single branchial opening can be seen spiracles are absent the presence of long dermal spine in the first dorsal fin you can see the spine now uh, caudal fin is isocircle mod it is a modified form of diffusercal fin tail it is uh, produced into a whip like filament male it is having a pair of uh, transverse slits in front of the pelvic fins that lead to two glandular pouches carrying a pair of anterior claspers two copulatory claspers are seen behind the anus one frontal or cephalic clasper on the top of the head can also be seen lateral line systems it is present in the open grooves of the body now considering the holocephaly when you see about the features of holocephaly uh, it is having certain elasmobranchian features uh, it shows differences from the elasmobranchies and it shows certain characters of the osteichthys okay so uh, you can see first we can see about the uh, features uh, of holocephaly which is similar to that of the elasmobranchians uh, now uh, placoid scales or dermal tentacles it is a common feature the heterocircle caudal fin then paired fins and girdles it is similar to the elasmobranchs the presence of claspers oronasal grooves cartilaginous endoskeleton persistent and constricted notochord spiral valve in the intestine hyoidian hemibranch valvular and contracted Honus arteriosa. So these are the features uh, that is very similar to that of its uh, elasmobranch. Now uh, it also shows certain differences from that of the elasmobranchians. So here you can see four pairs of gill slits, which is covered by opercular fold of the skin. Uh, five are present in the elasmobranchs, and uh, the operculum may not be seen in the elasmobranchians. Then three pairs of hollow branchs, while four pairs are seen in the elasmobranchs. Absence of spiracles, hollow stylic toes, suspension. Teeth are fused to form the crushing, crushing plates. Presence of extra claspers. Absence of cloaca. So these are the features that it shows, which is different from that of the elasmobranchi. 
no uh, it also shows certain characters which is exhibited by the bony fissure that is concentration of the branchial arches towards and beneath the skull reduced in the branchial septum presence of gill cover suppression of spiracles absence of cloaca so these are all the features uh, that uh, the holocephalians shown which is similar to that of the which is similar to uh, that of the ostichthus so it is uh, showing a wide variety of characteristic features okay now so that is an example that we have to study under the uh, subclass holocephalus now we are moving on to our next class that is a class ostichthus so ostichthus as we know that it is uh, consisting of uh, the fishes uh, that is having a bony endoskeleton now considering the ostichthus uh, it is uh, having a wide variety of uh, fishes a uh, highly diverse you can see many brightly colored fishes when compared to the contractors ostichthus is a more much more diverse and more number of uh, in the species are uh, there uh, which represents the um, bony fishes now so you can see a fish that is camouflaging under the sea floor so brightly colored fish so many different shapes uh, so a wide variety of fishes can be seen under this group so we are passing on to the salient features the uh, first and key most uh, salient feature or foremost salient feature is that uh, the embryonic endoskeleton though it is cartilaginous in adult this cartilaginous endoskeleton is replaced by the bones okay so here the endoskeleton it is composed of bones that is why these fishes are called as the bony fishes and thus the name ostichthus now uh, when you consider the scales that are seen on the uh, bony fishes the scales are of various types cycloid scales are there cosmoid scales are there ganoid scales are there so so many different types of uh, scales can be seen uh, in the case of this bony fishes now when you look into the caudal fin the fin will be a uh, homocircle in most of the fishes uh, difficircle fins are there and the gyrocircle fins are also there so uh, as we have already mentioned this group it consists of a wide variety of fishes so that it will be exhibiting a wide variety of characteristic features also so uh, in the case of the difficircle tail Uh, this is a uh, tail that is a typical homocircle. That means the vertebral column it is extending straight to the base of the tail. So such type of uh, caudal fins they are called as a difficircle caudal fin. Now in the case of a uh, heterocircle, uh, as in the case of the uh, 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 cartilaginous fishes. the heterocircle fins it will be having a dorsal and ventral lobe and this notochord it is slightly extended to this uh, dorsal lobe okay so uh, such type of uh, fins it is called as a heterocircle caudal fin now homocircle means it is, there is a small upward swinging of the vertebral column but the tail how on appearance or in appearance it will be almost equal uh, now rounded homocircle fins are there uh, which is same as that of the homocircle but the fin rays it forms a rounded shape now when you consider the gyrocircle tail it is also called as a bridge tail so here the dorsal and anal fins will grow around the posterior dorsal and anal fins will grow around the posterior end of the fish so having dorsal and anal fin coming together smoothly at the aborted end of the vertebral column of the fish tail so this type of uh, fins is called as a gyrocircle tail so there are so many kinds of uh, fins are seen 
in fishes but in the case of this uh, bony fishes you can see among these you can see the homo circle diffy circle as well as the gyphyro circle caudal fins are seen in the case of the uh, fish fishes bony fishes okay so this is a uh, diffy circle fin that is exhibited by the um, lung fishes prosopterygii okay now we are continuing with the salient features mouth it is terminal or subterminal as we have already mentioned the terminal mouth is one of the key identification feature of the bony fishes now nostrils it is the dorsal in position gills and gill opening it will be covered by operculum whereas in uh, cartilaginous fishes uh, the gills um, and gill openings are exposed and it will be never covered by the operculum but here the operculum is seen protecting the gills and gill chamber filiform gills are there and reduce the interbranchial septum air bladder it is usually present or sometimes it may be uh, absent jaw suspension it is autostylic that means through the quadrate so you might have studied about the different types of uh, jaw suspension or uh, if it is not dealt with uh, the teachers will deal with it especially when you study about the reptiles you can study about the different types of jaw suspension how the jaws are suspended into the uh, cranium okay so in the case of this feature so the jaw suspension is auto styling now next we are moving on to the classification uh, so the class ostrich says it is divided into two subclasses we have already dealt with it uh, two subclasses subclass sarcopterygii and actinopterygii and subclass sarcopterygii it is divided into two orders crossopterygii and dipnoi and the actinopterygii it is divided into three super orders chondrosti, holosti, and teleosti, which consist of so many orders that we have already dealt with. Now, now we are moving on to the uh, examples that we have to study. Uh, so, under the first subclass, Sarcopterygii, two orders are there order Crossopterygii and order Dipnoi. Uh, now we are going to see about the salient features of the order Crossopterygii plus uh, the one example that we have to study under the Crossopterygii that is a uh, coelocanth features so that we can see in the next class.